Hello again, my friends. All right. So over the last week, I've just been thinking about just in the busyness of this season of my life and the impending changes that are on the horizon, all that good stuff, just how important relationship with God is. Having that, that deeper connection. And, you know, we have things that we do as believers to kind of solidify that connection, right? We make covenants or promises, you know, each of us have our commitments and our convictions, things that we do because we love and believe in a heavenly father, right? And those are good things, but being imperfect humans I don't know about you guys, but for me, especially, I have a tendency of letting those things kind of become more like to-do lists or even worse in my lower points where I'm less confident, those commitments tend to become the measuring stick for my imperfection. It shows me all the things that I lack, right? The things that I'm not doing. And obviously that is not their intended purpose whatsoever. (laughs) God has every intention of blessing us for those things. He is always in our corner. But I personally tend to get complacent when things get overwhelming. I'll have weeks on end where things are really, really good. I'm focusing on him and praying and reading my scriptures and trying to focus outward. And then something happens, right? Life gets in the way. I get overwhelmed and I become complacent. What's amazing to me is that even in my complacency, God is there. He is there. He is allowing me that time to come to the good, to come to him on my own. And as I do, I'm better able to see like, okay, yeah, you've been there the whole time. It was my own judgments, my own complacency, right? That clouded my view. I was talking to my friend recently and she has had a lot of trials over the last year and there's a lot of good coming her way, right? There's a lot of changes kind of impending on the horizon for her family as well that will offer a lot of progress forward and when those things happen, right, in life, There's always unknowns. There's always things that are out of our control and there's always timelines and, and things that just are frustrating and it's confusing when we feel like we're doing everything that we can, that we're doing what we're supposed to and trying to be a good person and things are still not quite turning out the way that we hoped for or planned for. So she expressed to me how she was frustrated with herself, just how angry her prayers have been. Not to get her, get it wrong. She still had faith, right? She still has faith that God is aware of the situation. He is in control of the situation. Everything will work out as it should, and it will be for her good. Even the hard stuff but it doesn't make the hard any less hard. It doesn't make the waiting any easier. It doesn't make the unknown any less scary or frustrating. And so, you know, she tries to end her prayers with gratitude. At least I have a savior who knows exactly what this feels like. I mean, what a blessing, but it's still hard. And I confess to her, I have felt that way many times over the last year. I had many prayers that really up until that point hadn't really been that way, but 
there was just so much unknown as to what was next for me and so much, um, you know, just circumstantial hardship that I was at my wit's end. I have been more anxious than I had ever been and didn't know where to put it. And so I had a few prayers that came out that way too. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that what our God is bigger than any of the problems that we are or can ever face. But that's hard to remember sometimes. Especially when we want to be grateful, we want to be reverent. When talking with and to him about him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so super corny. The Swift DM me has to kind of mention this. Taylor Swift has a new song on one of the new albums that just came out last week called The Prophecy. And just a few lines from it, it says, um, hand on the throttle, thought I caught lightning in a bottle. Oh, but it's gone again. And it was written, I got cursed like Eve got bitten. Oh, was it punishment? Pat around when I get home. I guess a lesser woman would have lost hope. A greater woman wouldn't beg. But I looked to the sky and said, please, I've been on my knees. Change the prophecy. Let it once be me. Who do I have to speak to about if they can redo the prophecy? So kind of that similar sentiment where you're just begging, right? Like we don't want to get to that point where we're just desperate for understanding about why things go the way that they do in our lives. But it made me think of, and the little nugget of advice that I could offer my friend as we are discussing um, her situation was we've, she and I have both are both mothers. So we've been blessed with these sweet spirits, these beautiful children who have really bad days sometimes, right? They come home from school and are just terrors, right? They have been on best behavior all day long and they cannot hold it together a second longer. And everything that can go wrong does go wrong. <laughs> and it's so hard and frustrating and overwhelming and depleting and just all the things as a mom when that happens. But it's not because of you. But it's because of who you are to them. It's that safety and love that you offer as their parent. That they trust you with those hard feelings. They put it on you. And so that's the goal. That's the thing to keep in mind. No matter where you're at, if all you can do is express frustration with Heavenly Father right now, know that that is okay. Because He is our parent. I think that we make these commitments and covenants and have these convictions and want, because we want to be like him, but it is hard. It is hard. And it's, it's not just about the to-do list. It's about becoming. It's about turning to him in those hard times so we can get through them because it's about relationship. We are his. It has always been about us. That's it for now. All right. Till next time, guys. Have the best week.